<laughs> as a scrum master, when should you not act as a facilitator? All right. Very often when we're teaching in scrum mastery and people who are young in their careers as scrum masters, they'll be the facilitator by default. They'll think, I'm in a room, I probably need that pen, I need to be at the whiteboard leading things. Okay. Because scrum masters facilitate. Now, if you look at the scrum guide a bit closer, you will say may facilitate. They'll be asked where it's appropriate. Okay. That's an important distinction because at times it's not the right place. Why are you as a scrum master the one facilitating the meeting? The biggest place is where you as a member of that team have content to add to the team. Very often this happens in retrospectives. As a scrum master you are part of the scrum team. You are a core member with everybody else. And sometimes you need to be in that conversation about improvement. You're not stood to one side. You recognise that you have value to add and gain from being part of it. As soon as that's true, be it in a retrospective or something else, you really ought not be the facilitator. A facilitator by their very nature is neutral. They're outside of the content. They're there to provide a structure, to keep people on track to the agenda, okay, and help the team deliver the outcome it's looking for inside the meeting space. If you're in the content, you're not doing that job. Okay, I've tried it, I'm sure you've tried it. It doesn't go well. Because we lose track of the facilitation, we get caught up, our emotions come into play. We want to be part of this conversation. We want to solve the problem in front of us, whatever it is, we care. And in doing so, we stop being neutral. And when we're not neutral, we're no longer in a good space to facilitate. So as a Scrum Master, when you believe you're in the content, that's a time to call in some support. Ask another Scrum Master, an Agile coach, or maybe a member of the team to step up into that facilitation role and take ownership of it and accept that. That's a responsible professional action. You recognise that you're compromised in that role and you've said, OK, I can't do this. I can't do the job that I need to do of being a team member and the job that I need to do of being a facilitator. And it's more important I'm a team member for this conversation than a facilitator. So somebody else is going to step into this role and that's good. Another time is where you're genuinely not needed. I've come across so many Scrum Masters who are in meetings because they facilitate meetings. And I look around and I wonder why are they there? You know, do they need a facilitator? Do they need a facilitated meeting? Facilitated meetings are good. I enjoy being part of them. I enjoy running them. Okay? But they're not always necessary. Refinement's a good example. An opportunity for somebody with a problem, a product owner, a customer, a stakeholder, somebody who sees an opportunity for the product to sit down with a few people from the developers. Do we need somebody to facilitate that, to keep people on track? So, Probably not. Okay? What we need is a group of people to have a good chat about what the opportunity is, what the problem is they're looking to solve, and a conversation about what that means for the product, how they could possibly solve it may come into the mix. That's all well and good. We don't need to add a spare wheel to make sure that's happening. So there's lots and lots of times where as a Scrum Master we may think we should be there. But when we think we should be there, we need to start questioning why. The word should, for me, is always a trigger to question my intentions. Do I feel like I should be there because I don't think I add value outside of facilitation? Or do I feel I should be there because there's going to be a conversation that I want to be part of? Okay. Well, they're different things. If it's because it's a conversation I want to be part of and I've not been invited, maybe I don't need to be part of it. Maybe I do need to be part of it, but I should be there as a contributor, not a facilitator. That's OK. Open that conversation. If it's I should because I facilitate, do they need a facilitator and do they need you to facilitate? Maybe somebody else in the team has stepped into that role and that's all well and good. Do you not have anything else on your plate? And if you don't, we can have a chat about that. So Scrum Masters, you don't have to facilitate everything. You don't have to be involved as a neutral party in all the conversations within the team, within the organisation. Sometimes 
You do need to be part of that conversation. And in those times, you're not the facilitator. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.